All right, there it is. It's installed. It's on rainbow. Here's my switch. We just turn it off right here. And then when you want to turn it back on, boom. All right, this is what it looks like after the install. Only problem is that you could see the uh, the LED bulbs themselves if you, if you're further away, like right there. And uh, you you don't want to be able to see that. I have a. Uh, the lights can be seen from the front as well as the back. Looks like the sides are okay. So if people are walking up to your car, it looks fine. But when they're when it's kind of far away, you can see the lights that it's not okay. So we gotta fix that. All right, I'm just gonna go over a few of the supplies that I put uh, that I purchased from Amazon. Uh, this is the uh, underglow light kit that I purchased from Amazon. It is the brand is right there, Corjo K O R J O underglow. This is a pretty good light uh, kit. Had great reviews. Comes with everything. Um, I like it. Uh, then of course you're gonna need some zip ties. You're gonna uh, I bought this uh, quarter inch um, conduit, uh, plastic conduit to hide the wires. Um, you're gonna need some of these uh, plastic um, double stick tape fasteners. Um, that looks like this. Uh, I bought three of these, three packs, and that's 50, 50 pieces per pack, so 150 pieces total. You might as well buy extra, that way you don't run out. And then I bought some rubber neoprene uh, um, insulation or foam tape. Um, it's weather self-adhesive weather stripping for doors and windows. So I bought this stuff, it's 3 8 thick, 3 8 and then it is one inch wide from here to here it's one inch one inch wide and three eighths thick and all you need is eight feet uh total four feet for the front of the car and four feet for the back of the car and then i bought some of this acrylic uh double-sided tape it's an indoor outdoor waterproof uh removable double stick tape and I got the black. Do not get the clear. Clear will allow the LED bulbs to shine through and you're not going to like it. So make sure you get the black stuff. Uh, this is also one inch wide. That way I, I can use this and stick it onto this one inch wide uh, rubber uh, strip. And then uh, you're going to need some sort of a wire puller or something like that. So that you can pull the wire through the um, uh, through the uh, firewall. Uh, then I suggest you buy some sort of an angle plate. Uh, I think this one is a steel plate. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. You're gonna have to fabricate um, something like a bracket to hold on to your triple socket. So I bought one of these guys. This is a double. I suggest getting a triple. That way you have an extra um, socket for anything extra, for uh, some, any other accessory you wanna plug in. Anyways, take a Dremel tool, cut this back plate 
back, back plate off because you're going to need some space for the wires to, uh, uh, um, you're going to need some clearance for your wires anyways. Um, yeah, and then uh, you're going to need this and you're going to want to mount this towards the back of this uh, uh, triple socket. And uh, just because there is an, an air vent at the bottom over by your foot well that 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 actually blows behind this thing, and you don't want you don't want to cover the air vent over there. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'll put together another video um, as far as how to install the 12 volt socket in the foot well of the driver's side uh, part of the vehicle. All right, that's it. All right, so this is how you're gonna wanna start your uh, install. I used uh, Rhino ramps, and I ramped, uh, I uh, gave myself some space to work with um, underneath the front, and then later on, I'm gonna have to go grab my, uh, a couple of uh, car jacks and jack it up from the back to give myself some room in the back. So here you go. it now you can work on the front area on the front end install the LED lights from the front and you could do the sides as well but we're gonna have to jack up the back end to install the uh, LED light or the underglow on the back take to the bottom of the car and then just if you want to follow this it, it I have the cables running towards the side of the car down there um, on both uh, driver side and passenger side and then I stuck the uh, the light bars on each side right there and then the wires continue towards the back of the car and uh, and then we and then we do the back side so if you can see the more of these clips that you can put on here the better to hold it in place. These are like probably four inches apart all the way down towards the center section where the uh, uh, the side uh, LED bars get mounted. And everything kind of, and everything held it in place real nicely with the uh, um, the double back tape that's uh, already on the uh, light, on the light bars. And, uh, and then I just reinforced it with these uh, black plastic um, fasteners so all I did was take these guys and I and I and I stuck them on either side of the uh, if you could see what it looks like I stuck it on either side of the LED bar and then I put a, a, a clear uh, the clear uh, zip tie that came with the uh, the kit so but you're gonna have to buy these black square uh, cord management um, pieces and uh, I basically bought three packages of those that way I can uh, have enough to hold all the all the wires underneath the car all right so first we're gonna remove the frunk to get to the uh, underside of the uh, frunk area. So you just unsnap this guy. All right, then you take this, you put, set it aside. Then you're gonna want to take these four bolts out. They're 10 millimeter. You need a 10 millimeter socket. Oh, 
One, two, three, four, and then you take this uh, plastic fastener off. You could use a screwdriver or your nails. Take that off. That way it's not attached to your windshield wiper housing or reservoir. Then you have to unclip this. Just pull straight up. And I have the uh, LED light strip around here, so I'm gonna disconnect that first. There you go. Wires. Um, so basically, the controller for my underglow got routed down here. Um, I took this and I stuffed it down underneath there and then it pops out underneath there so you can see where it pops out so it's right in front of the driver's side front wheel right here um my wire puller pops out right here so it's right in front of this black uh linkage that goes to your steering so what you do is you hook up your cable uh, coming from your two led strips in the front hook that up and hook that hook that up to your wire puller here and then you pull it up from here once you pull it up it comes out It comes out through here so then you just pull up on it and then the wire comes straight out here should be attached to your wire puller so now here's the controller for your LED uh, underglow all I did was zip tie it to this hole right here and I zip tied it to the bottom of the large box on the controller and it's the perfect length actually and I zip tied it to the bottom of it so it won't be able to go past that point and I won't have too much extra slack at the bottom underneath the car that's it that's what holds it in place it'll hold it in place just like that perfectly and then I ran it a, 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 along this cable right here. And uh, put some zip ties. I zip tied it to this cable harness. So let me just follow it here. I zip tied it here. Here's another zip tie here. And then it comes down, down and around. And I zip tied it down to the bottom here. And then it comes back up here. And this is where I connected it to the uh, the red and black uh, wire uh, that comes with the uh, 12 volt socket switch. So right here is your uh, your duct, your plastic uh, air duct for your intake on your uh, air conditioning. So right to the left of this is a real is a blue. Uh, plug right there right to the left it's on your uh, passenger side of the car 
if you pop that out, you're going to find out that you can access your firewall through right through that hole. So pop this blue uh, plug off. So it looks like that. Don't lose it. You can drill a hole through that and stick any wire you want through that guy. And then you want to go on the inside, on the passenger side of your car, pop this panel out so you can expose the inside, uh, the center console. Once you expose, I think you're going to have to pop out this uh, plastic panel underneath here. So there's a few uh, of these plastic. Uh, um, fasteners that you have to pop out just uh, get a screwdriver underneath it and pop it out once you pop out all four of these uh, plastic fasteners you should be able to just pull this down and out it has a clip you just have to pull on it it'll it'll unsnap there's one on the right uh, one on the left and one on the right there you go and everything and then this whole panel should just pop down oh no you know what there's a hook on the inside oh there, there's another one there's a hook on the inside there so make sure you pull the front out first and then and then and then you could slide this out see that Right there, that goes inside of this. That right there. Sorry, it goes inside of that right there. So, once you pop that out, you should be able to find your, and there it is. Close the center console, you're going to need something to fish your wire through, right? So now that you pop, popped out the plug, I have one of these guys. You can get this from Harbor Freight or any um, hardware store. But it has a little grabber. That, that, that pops out so you could hook up your wire to that when you push down on this plunger at the top it has a grabber that comes out you can hook up your wire to that and then pull the wire through the firewall so that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this inside the hole once you get inside the hole, you want to go, you want to direct it downward through the firewall and down. So once you, once you direct it down, you should see it pop out on the other side, inside your, uh, Cabin. Right there, it's going through. Just push it through. All right. So once you push it down. In the downward position, downward direction, you should feel free. And then you'll see it pop out right there. That's where you see it pop out. So somehow, it comes through that firewall and it comes down. And it's gonna come down right there. So once you get the wire puller, then you just have to pull it out. Once you, once you clamp on it, 
you're gonna need a second person to feed it and then you're gonna pull on it and then you're gonna the wire is gonna come out of that hole so now it's now it's attached to this all I have to do is let go of it and you can see how it, it came out of that hole Right, there's the wire so it's perfect and now I got my switch for the uh, underglow and I can feed this somewhere down here and then fi figure out how I'm gonna uh, plug it into the uh, into the uh, cigarette socket that's it so this is where I uh, I attach the two wires here and what I'm gonna do here is clean this up add a uh, crimp a, a butt connector here and probably uh, add a uh, um, some uh, shrink wrap tubing right here and clean this up and then uh, if you follow this it comes up here I, I zip tied it here to this wire harness and if you follow it here it comes right next to your air intake for your uh, air conditioner right here and it goes underneath there and then I zip tied it to this wire harness here zip tied it to this wire harness here and then it comes back up and it goes into that blue plug right there and then I cut a hole through that uh, that blue uh, wire plug and that that's where I fed the wire through the firewall just like I showed in my uh, uh, earlier video so it's, remember it's right to the left side of this air intake for your cabin air intake right to the left side of that. That's the perfect area to enter in through your firewall. Uh, and then that's also the best place that you're going to want to pull, run a, uh, a cable from your 12 volt uh, positive uh, terminal. So I'm going to show you in a video how to do that. So run your 12 volt positive cable through there. I'll probably go either over this or underneath it, I'm not sure. And then again, through that firewall and over to the driver's side. Uh, then you're gonna go through, again, it, it should pop up down here on the passenger side. And then you're gonna go through the center console and over to the footwell of the driver's side over there, which is how I ran it. And, you, and this is how you're gonna power your triple 12 volt socket. So that way you're gonna have your power. Again, this is the, uh, the switch that the um, underglow uh, kit came with and so I have it hooked up to here it's really easy to do this you're gonna want to start to install the uh, underglow from the front end of the car so let me show you how I did it um, you know it comes uh, that controller uh, you're gonna have to remove that controller from the uh, underglow area This is what it looks like down here uh, Basically right here This is where the two connectors are at so unscrew this unscrew that And then uh, remove them from the controller and so now you just have the two cords coming down to your uh front um underglow uh light bar 
So you have one going towards the passenger side and then you get the second one going down towards the driver's side on the left side of the car. And this is how I did it. I didn't have to hide any uh, wires. All the wires are underneath the car. So from your center line, I started here. First, you're gonna have to take some alcohol. Get a rag and some alcohol. This one is about 91% isopropyl alcohol. And then you're gonna have to wipe down the surface that you're gonna stick to. So these LED uh, light bars, they're flexible and then they have a double-sided tape. So you're gonna have to wipe this down real good get all the grease and the dust off of the surface right I'm gonna wipe it down now because I'm gonna install a rubber neoprene foam to hide the LED bulbs because when I turn them on you can see them from the front of the car so that looks ugly you're gonna want to hide that yeah clean this off real good Oh man. I'm gonna have to replace that one. All right. So, yeah, so this is how I did it. I, I stuck it on here initially and then all the wires were kind of just hanging down. And then I, I bought these clips these fasteners, these plastic fasteners, and I use that to uh, do the cord management. So I have a bunch of these holding the cords to the bottom of the uh, uh, of the car here. You're gonna you're gonna want to um, wipe everything down and then stick these to the bottom of the car to hold. And then and then and then you and then you uh, you clip you clip the wire inside of it and it'll hold it in place. But basically, this is what it looks like starting from here I put a clip here to hold both down together you can fit about two of these cords inside of each clip anyways if you follow it it comes this way and then I connected the two uh, connectors which go to the controller and it goes this way towards the the driver side and then this is you see this linkage right here this black linkage coming towards the front of the bump, the front of the car. And then I have the wire coming in it's underneath the uh, the hood here, coming in this way. Um, I don't know if you could see that. Anyways, it goes inside there towards the front area, and then my uh, controllers are underneath the front area over there. But basically, you do that later on. Uh, cause right now all you're doing is taking care of all the LED bars that, that you're going to You want to know exactly where, what position I, I put these, this LED, these two LED bars at. Here, let me measure it for you. It's about three inches in front of the, uh, these screws, these first set of screws that are, in, uh, that are holding the plastic panel underneath. So there's one, two, three, four, uh, screws that are holding that front panel so if you measure about three inches that's that's about where I uh, put the uh, LED bars and then in front of that I'm gonna put 
uh, some uh, neoprene rubber foam uh, in front of it to hide the LED uh, bulbs because you don't want to see those LED bulbs. Front, I mean from the side, this is the passenger side. Let me just show you what I did over here. Same thing. Uh, this one I measured from the edge here, from the edge of the plastic. I measured about one, uh, two and a half inches or two and three quarter inches from the plastic panel, two and three quarter inches to the edge of the LED lamp, uh, bar. And then I used a marker, uh, a Sharpie, a black Sharpie marker, and I marked it all the way down. So that way you can keep, when you, once you stick this uh, uh, LED, bar uh, to the under side of the car you can keep it nice and straight and consistent all the way down all right so about two and three quarter inches from the plastic panel and I started probably where the mounting hole is over here for the uh, for the jack the jacking uh, the jack um, jack point so a little bit in front of that. So I want to say probably like two, two inches in front of that. And then it goes all the way down. It ends up at the other jack point over here. So if you start from the jack point over there, you'll end up uh, at the jack point on this side. And, uh, so once once you use the double back tape on the uh, light bar it'll hold it in place and all you have to do is is uh mount these um plastic uh cable management uh squares that way uh you can run your uh black cable the power cable in between each light bar so this is what it looks like right here and this goes towards the back of the car that's it. Again, I used uh, these black fasteners on either side to reinforce it. So that's what it looks like. One on the outside of the, of the LED bar, one on the inside of the LED bar, and then the, uh, the zip ties that came with the kit. I used that to hold on to the light bar. So that's just an extra, uh, tool to uh to keep it strong and prevent it from falling off time to install the uh let me show you how i installed the uh the light bars in the back so first you got to use this puck install that in the proper location then you put your jack underneath Once you got your jack underneath, then you jack up your car like that. All you need is enough space to get underneath the car in the back. That's about all I need. Yeah, let's see, about maybe three inches off the floor. The tire is about three inches off the, the ground in the back. Let me take another puck. Install this on this side. In the jacking point. And you set up your jack underneath there.
boom. Once you have that set up, then you jack this side up off the ground. Same thing, you wanna get about three inches off of the ground. it looks like once it's off the ground um, I kind of did I kind of put this on after I installed the uh, LED uh, bar on the sides because you don't want this in the way when you're installing the uh, LEDs on the sides so I jacked up the back so that I could do the back side the LEDs in the back and the front is stable that's not that's not that's not gonna come apart and fall but these jacks you can't uh, you can't trust the jacks so they're hydraulic so you never know so just in case add your, a couple jack stands underneath to keep yourself safe that's what i did i'd rather the car break i'd rather the car falling down on the jacks than falling down on myself so yeah this is what it looks like now nah, I think the best place to put it is right here that's it put it underneath where the batteries uh, the battery is And if there's an earthquake or these jacks decide to fail, at least I have a, a jack stand underneath that's gonna hold it up and not skull. Boom, that's it. You want to know how far? All right, so from the edge of the, the bumper here, let's measure how far from me. Actually, you can measure from the, where these bolts are at, where how I uh, installed these guys. So that's about four and a half inches from these bolts. About four and a half inches is where I, the edge to the edge of the, uh, of the LED bulb. Four and a half inches from these bolts, all the way down. And again, I reinforced it just like that. And the zip ties to hold them in place. So I'm gonna wipe this down now so I can install some, uh, uh the rubber the rubber um, uh, cushion in front to, to hide the uh, LEDs. So take your rag, some isopropyl alcohol. Get this nice and uh, soaked. And then we're gonna wipe down the bottom here. The side. This, I'm on the front end. You're gonna need about... Ah. Maybe we keep it at about four feet. You're gonna wanna measure out about four feet of this uh, rubber Uh, insulation. So, I'll cut about four feet of that. Let's 
That's it. Yeah, that's about four feet. Then, I'm gonna use my own double stick tape here, which I bought from Amazon. And I'm gonna replace, or I'm, what I'm gonna do is put this on top of the, uh, the original double side, uh, double stick tape that, that came with the rubber uh, strip here. And uh, this is the second time I'm doing this. And I, uh, in the beginning of the video, you can see that I originally used this clear version of this uh, double, double sided tape, but now I purchased uh, a black version uh, to prevent the LED uh, bulbs from bleeding through. So the clear stuff does not work. You're, you're still gonna see uh, the actual LED bulbs bleeding through the uh, the clear stuff. So that's why I found this uh, black version of the removable double stick tape. So this is removable and does not leave a residue behind if you were gonna remove this uh, this this double double stick tape from your car. So that's why. I, I, I bought this stuff. So what we're gonna do is, I think this was easier when I was holding it vertical. There you go. Ooh, man, this is sticky stuff. Yeah, give me a thumbs up, please. And also subscribe. You could check out all my car uh, modification videos. If you like what, I, what I'm posting, please give me a subs subs please subscribe. Thanks a lot, man. That'd be great. Boom. So now this is ready to go. And this is black, so hopefully I won't get any light shining through this black material, this black material. There you go. I'm gonna use the same double stick tape for uh, my 12 volt triple socket that's underneath the uh, the dashboard, the driver's side dashboard, because this stuff is supposed to be uh, removable and super sticky. It feels pretty sticky. And it's for outdoor, uh, all weather. You don't have to worry about it getting wet and uh, coming apart. So do the same thing for another piece, uh, another four foot piece. And these four feet uh, long strips will both uh, work for the front and the back uh, of the um, underglow to cover up the LED light, uh, light bulbs. That's it, thanks. 
Okay, so here's the center line. We're gonna stick it there and all the way down. And then I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna reinforce this as well with some of those black square fasteners that I bought. So pull this cover off and start sticking it down. is going to be removable just in case in the future if you ever want to remove this stuff it's, it should be should not leave any residue on your car <clears throat> I don't know about <sighs> the other stuff that's on the LED uh, bars but yeah but that's what it's going to look like and I know this is thick enough this is about 3 8 thick this should be thick enough to hide the LED bulbs that's it you won't be able to see it from the front oh perfect you won't be able to see the LED bulb from the front measure the back maybe it's four feet too so this is the back end Uh, yeah, you know what four feet is a good number Four feet That way we have uh, two feet will be the uh, the center line I'm gonna do the same thing here All right, let's do that Now you take. Now you take the uh, the rubber strip and you stick it to the back side. Find your center line. This is your center line right here. Uh, line it up there, and this should go right here. Just like that. Boom. And it goes there like that. Boom. Take these off. The plastic. And then stick them on either side of this. One on this side. Like that. And one on the other side. Like that. And then you take a zip tie, you tie it through here, you tie it, and then you shut it or you connect it, and then you bring it over to the other side and clip it. Clip it, and then now you tie, tie this down. 
just like that. And that's what it'll look like. And so then now you have some reinforcement that's holding this uh, rubber neoprene down, as well as the double back tape that's on here. I don't know if it's if that might be overkill, but why not? Doesn't hurt. All right. Uh, this is what I came up with. Um, this was actually uh, an angle uh, mount for this O'Reilly um, 12 volt socket that I bought from O'Reilly Auto Parts. So uh, this is the only thing I could think of at this point uh, for a quick install. Uh, you're gonna have to have a steel angle plate. Um, let me measure it out for you. So this one leg is, I wanna say, about one inch and three quarter. About one inch and three quarter. One and three quarter inch. And then um, this other piece that comes down is about one inch and three quarter as well. So if you can fabricate uh, a piece of aluminum angle, one inch and three quarter, one, one and three quarter inch by one and three quarter inch. And then it's about one and a quarter inch wide, one and a quarter inch wide. And then what I did was I drilled a hole from the on the inside of this um, um, triple uh, 12 volt socket. Actually, this one has a the third one is a uh, a USB. <sighs> but anyways, I drilled uh, two holes through the plastic, through the metal angle. And then, and then I uh, installed an 832 screw, two of them, with with a couple washers here and some uh, lock washers on the other side and the nuts. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I want to say the length of those screws are probably about a half inch. Yeah. I want to say they're about a half inch long. Half inch long, um, 832 by half inch long. Two of them, so it's nice and uh, um, uh, strong and stable with a couple lock washers on the inside here so they don't back out. But it's pretty solid. This is not going to go anywhere. Only thing is, uh, I don't have anything to mount mount it to on this side because there's there's really nowhere to mount it, and I don't want to put screws into the car, so I want to keep everything stock. So I'm just gonna do it like this, and and probably just add some uh, double back tape, double sided tape here, and then what you can do is use the existing uh, screw that was over here at the uh, at the corner and just screw it back in and it'll hold it in place and then you just run your wires over to your uh your uh cigarette lighter sockets and then they, they just they just jump over so all of these are powered so now i got two sockets and two an additional two usbs usb uh usb ports one one's a one amp and the other one's a 2.1 amps five volts and that's it I just stuff this back in inside and then I could just screw this in that once you screw that in it's, it's pretty stable 
and you keep everything stock on your car you're not going to be making any extra holes in your car that and ruining your car but there you go it's, it's nice and stable <laughs> all right this I want to show you what it looks like so that's that's pretty much what how it looks like from the driver's side it doesn't look too bad I really can't see anything from this side nobody's gonna be looking down over here anyways and if you look at it from this side that's what it looks like all you see is a couple, uh, a couple of the, uh, the the cables coming in into the center console, and if you look up inside there. There's the uh, the bracket. That's the uh, steel bracket right here, and then with the hole in it at the end, and then you put that screw back into into the uh, the OEM screw. Actually, I. Uh, uh, I, I purchased an, a longer screw so that it would uh, it would fit in there, but it's pretty much holding it in place there. That way, it's very non-invasive. We're not we're not we're not um, drilling into the car or anything like that. But that's what it, that's what it looks like if you put your head down underneath here, which isn't that bad. I'll take it. And uh, um, I suggest that you run your 12 volt uh, power to these sockets. You run it through the center console over to the uh, passenger side uh, behind the carpet there um, and through the firewall, uh, which is how I showed you in, in my uh, video how to, how to get through the firewall in the uh, um, 2021 Model Y and over to your uh, 12 volt battery and make sure you add a uh, uh, an inline fuse uh, I think that's the, the the best and cleanest way to do this install so, and that, that'll give you power uh, for your um, ambient lighting if you want to have ambient lighting which is what this is so you can see that I have my ambient lighting on the inside here, as well as uh, my panels there, and even on my back seats. And then if I turn this switch on, that is my <sighs> underglow. You okay, can see right there. All right, that's it. All right, guys, this is my final iteration of the underglow install. I added the uh, black double-sided tape to the rubber uh, strips. Can't see the LEDs anymore, so I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, this is a pretty good product. I'd say it's completely worth it for $60 from Amazon install if, if you if it helped you in any way please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up on my video and subscribe like and subscribe I'd really appreciate it this is what it looks like on the inside my ambient lighting and then I got both my switches right here underneath by my footwell nice and clean no wires turn it off there and uh that's it. Thanks for watching.